Welcome to Tech Photo Blog. This is episode number 10. This week I'm going to be talking about the multi flash board. This is a board I've been working on for a while, and the way it works is it takes in um, a signal to trigger a flash or a camera, and it replicates that across these four ports, and it does that in a safe manner. Um, it has some buffer chips here to protect one flash from another. Before this, a lot of people were using uh, splitter cables, uh, which works okay, but it's not a very safe thing to be doing. You could damage a camera or a flash, um, or it might not work reliably because different cameras and different flashes work at different voltages. So with these buffer chips that I put onto this board, this is much safer and much more reliable than using a splitter cable to, to trigger a lot of flashes. People who follow the forums or the blog for the camera acts know that um, I announced the schematics and bill of material for this board many months ago, probably four months ago, and I thought I'd just dot tell you why it, it took so long to get it finalized and into the store. Uh, the first and most uh, time-consuming problem was just a stupid make mistake from me. I uh, normally take the uh, circuit boards that I design and run DRC error checking, and I just forgot to do it on this one, so I had a couple of the traces crossing on the board, and when the first board came back, it just didn't work. When that happened, I was busy with work, so I didn't get around to figuring to ordering a second batch of corrected boards for a while and you know that was another month and then once I got the I finally got the boards back um, I have to have them assembled by some people in my area added a few more weeks uh, but now I finally got it in the store now in the meantime the bill of materials and schematic have been out there and a few people on my forums have actually used a breadboard to build their own version of this and I totally support that. I think that's a great thing to be doing, and I'll put a link to that in my forums. If other people want to recreate other sensors I've made, or, or even better, make improvements on them, you know, post it to the forums and you know, let other people benefit from it. I think that's awesome. So before the multi-flash board, people were plugging in uh, these flashes into splitter cables like this, and then they'd plug this into the camera axe. And that's just uh, not a good thing to do with these different types of flashes here because you're going to be mixing voltages and it could damage the flash. It'll lead to unreliable operation. Just generally a bad thing to be doing. So what I've done with the multi-flash board is I've got these buffer chips in here that basically isolate each one of these four ports from each other and from the input. So... Um, you just take the flashes and plug them into these ports on this side. You can plug them into any ports you want, or you could be plugging cameras into these ports. Both will work fine. Then you take this end of the uh, multi-flash board and you plug that into the camera axe. And with a PCA sync cable, you could actually plug this into a, a camera if you wanted to replicate your PC sync uh, cable to, to multiple flashes. So, but, but normally I use this with the uh, camera axe. So once you've done that, you turn it on, you power up all your flashes, and it'll work just like plugging a, a flash directly into the, the camera axe. Um, only you've got four of them now. Well, three of them here, but it can support up to four. So now let's say you're a real power user and you're like, well, yeah, four flashes is a nice, but it's not really enough for my particular use case. Well, that's not a problem, because with these multi-flash boards, you can actually daisy chain them together, which means you can connect the input of one to the output of this first uh, board, like this, and you do that for all four of these. Now you've got a single input controlling 16 different flashes. And if that's not enough, you could actually daisy chain more of these together and go up to 64 flashes or, you know, even more. There's not really a limit on how deep you can daisy chain these. Now each time you daisy chain another layer, it will add a tiny amount of delay, but we're talking about 
well, well under one microsecond. I can't even measure how much delay these are adding very easily. So um, you're, you're not even going to notice that extra delay, uh, even in the most demanding high-speed photography. So go ahead and daisy chain if you want to have more than four flashes. Thanks for watching.